Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA is moving sideways at the moment, actually did hold really, really well yesterday. So hasn't broken below the critical support, hasn't broken below 29 cents. And um, this is something noteworthy. I mean, yesterday we had quite a bit of a sell off there on the Bitcoin side. Yes, ADA also made another low, but all the scenarios I shared with you yesterday are still valid and in the last few days. So we are squeezed between the support zone, which you can see highlighted there in orange, which is important support for the yellow, more bullish scenario, which in the yellow scenario would send the price higher in a third wave into the, well, 40 to 50 cent region. This is not clearly preferred because the initial rally from the 5th of August low was only a three wave move. So it ended in three waves. It doesn't give us that good feeling that the trend is over, the downtrend. And the market has not confirmed the downtrend to be back in an uptrend. Okay, so from that point of view, we cannot prefer the yellow scenario without or until we get further evidence. What do we want as further evidence? We want to break above resistance. What's the resistance area? There you go, it's on the chart in red, between 35 cents and 37.8 cents. This is the resistance area which needs to be overcome to, let's say, start to favor, start to favor, not clearly favor, I would say, but start to favor the yellow scenario, give it a chance. I mean, we give it a chance or it wouldn't be on the chart, but it's not the most probable scenario, in my opinion. Um, and the resistance area, again, is defined between 35 and 37.8 cents. The problem is just that the move up was just clearly a three wave move and ADA has so far failed to give us any promising reactions to the micro support region. There's nothing there, okay? So therefore, we have to be focused on other scenarios, at least not so much on the microstructures necessarily, they are not so important, but we get from these microstructures, we get the levels. So we have a support area there, yep. We have a resistance area, and the support area needs to break next to confirm the more bearish interpretation, at least short term bearish. And then we have to see where it takes us from a um, from a short term bearish point of view. We have two scenarios. The one here that we talked about yesterday as well and the days before is the one two one two scenario. Quite bearish it is. I don't like that one so much because this wave one, the second wave one is very long and the wave two is um, now that's okay, but the, the wave one is very long, the second one, but this move down here, again, it's, it appears to be only in three waves. So it's not clearly bearish. If we really had a one, two, one, two setup to the downside, it should really break down. And Bitcoin in a very similar structure is pretty much already here. And end of wave three. So ADA hasn't followed. So that is the first signal that tells us, okay, maybe this is not what's happening. Maybe ADA will find support there. Has it increased the probabilities for the yellow count? In my opinion, not yet, maybe ever so slightly, but not yet. I'd rather watch the blue count, which I introduced yesterday, which sees this entire move down that started on the 24th of August as a, as a wave one, as a large wave one. And then we have a wave two that could be unfolding. Maybe over the weekend, we're working on wave C of two. So here I have to say that, um, it doesn't really matter which color the count has or which count we're watching. What really matters are the resistance areas because also for the blue count, we need to stay below 37.8 cents below the resistance area. So that's really critical. So for the bearish count to become more likely um, and to maintain its preferred status, we need to see the price hold below 37.8 cents and break below the 29 cent area. Here we have 29.8 cents, but also the larger support at 29 cents. And then it should follow through to the downside into the low 20, 20 cent region. For the yellow count to become more probable, we just need to see a convincing break above 37.8 cents. I don't expect much action on the weekend, I have to say, but the market will decide that. But I would say I don't expect much action on the weekend. So we'll probably have to be a bit patient and probably tomorrow I'm gonna to tell you something similar. So a quick reminder today I'm running or we're starting to run a risk management course, a risk management masterclass, traders win through risk management. It's the first and only thing new traders should think about risk management. Also seasoned traders um, obviously have to focus on risk management. So it's a, it's, a, it's a small course, it's a seminar that runs over five 
sessions, five live sessions, one hour each with a Q&A at the end for five Saturdays starting today at 4 p.m. UTC. If you are on Discord, you will get the link later. If you're not on Discord, but you want to participate, you can register for our silver and gold membership. <clears throat> you can do that in the description or on the website or just send us an email if you have a question. But yeah, this is going to run today. Just want to mention it. There's always something different, you know, to participate live uh, compared to um, watching recordings or something. So yeah, that's going to be launched uh, today. That's exciting. And not much more to add about the ADA chart other than the focus on the weekend needs to be on this support region and the resistance region. That's the update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.